Global chip shortage. I believe you heard have heard this term for many many times from the news, from from the internet, from many different places. And why we have global shortage now? What causes it? Uh, I th- I don't feel there's a very clear explanation for this. That's why uh, we want to talk. I want to talk about this in today's video. I actually did uh, some research on this topic. I want to share some my thoughts with you. So let's just dive right in. What causes global chip shortage? Why it's so hard to buy a, a IC chips now, especially low end one. A lot of people say global chip shortage, and this is actually too gen, too vague. This term is just too vague. You because there are so many different kind of uh, IC chips. And the global chip shortage now actually is just happening in the low end IC chip. Those um, chips they are less sophisticated, less complex. Um, why? I did a lot of research and I do now see there's a conclusive conclusion about that. But so far I can tell you one very likely thing is in the semiconductor manufacturing. Usually, you need to plan for five years, and you need to, like, at least if you want to make your production line, you want to make a plant, you need to plan that for five, ten years in advance, and you need to invest a tremendous amount of money to that. And because of people think in the future there will be a lot of five G, more sophisticated laptops, phones, so they a lot of. Companies they invest in the high-end chip manufacturing, and there wasn't so much investment in the low-end chip manufacturing, like less sophisticated manufacturing things. So the underinvestment in the old generation of the chips manufacturing they happened a few years ago. Then it really started taking effect. And we 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 see the the supply of such less sophisticated chips reduce a lot in the la- last year, from at least since last year. So the supply reduced a lot, and the demand still remain the same. Even demand may be even higher because of the pandemic. People stay home. People buy more cars because people don't want to take public transit. People buy more home appliances because people stay home more. People buy more computer monitors because people stay home more. So those low-end chips actually are the major things they we use to make cars, home appliances, computer monitors, speakers. So that makes sense. Uh, the COVID actually drive the demand very high, and the supply size. Also reduce because people don't think they, uh, kind of uh, simple chips will make a lot of money. So like a lot of semiconductor manufacturers, they don't invest in such manufacturing process too much. Instead, they invest in those、uh, high end, three nanometer, five nanometers productions, and those are usually、uh, the production line for the chips for AI. Processors, your phone, per, iPhone processors, your smartphone processors, your computer processors, CPUs, or GPUs. They things actually makes more money. So those semiconductor makers, the big semiconductor makers, TSMC and Samsung, they invest, they invest in the high end chips more than the low end chip. So that's one of the reasons they make the supply so low. And also demands getting high of co because of due to COVID, so that's why we see that since the pandemic, and this is the the one explanation. And I think there could be multiple reasons they they cause this. And another thing is, I really feel a lot of things actually now、uh, is in shortage now. For example, bike bicycles. Ah,、uh, last time. Just the、uh, last two weeks ago, I went to a shop. Say I want to buy an entry level road bike, and they say no, you couldn't buy it now. We, they are all sold out. If I want to order one, I will only get it in twenty twenty two, which is a year later. 
So if I re re really want to buy a road bike, I couldn't buy because they are not that they, they also couldn't explain too too much. They just say oh because of Kobe. But I believe it's because of Kobe the demands become so high and the supply maybe remain the same or even lower than it caused this shortage. And what I want to say is because of that a lot of money is being print, so people have a lot more money than usual. Even more money, even the COVID make the unemployment rate so high, but still a lot of money coming in uh, into the market. The market, the money supply has increased so much, and the prices of those things still the same. Because like uh, the bicycles, computers, if you see, you didn't see the inflation, right? The 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 pr prices still pretty much the same as uh, 2020, 2020, before twenty twenty. But the money, the, the money got, got more, so the buying power is is getting high, and the supply means the the demands increase, and the supply still remains the same. And this gap, that's why you see the shortage in in the bicycles. I believe this not only happen in the bicycles, it only happen in a lot of, a lot of things. So there may be one reason they, they these semiconductors are uh, still in shortage because the supply increases so much. COVID drive the real supply, really the real demand. Real demand means people really need monitors, need cars more than usual. And another thing is people got more money because of COVID things, the money being print. Maybe you don't feel you got more money, but actually you got because the stock market is the, 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 the one way they the printing money getting into the market. And people got richer because of stock market. So they have more free money disposable income to buy things and that's why it drives the demand so high so that's my guess my assumption why global chip shortage happen and also you can see a lot of different shortages in many different items i believe you experienced that so that's concerning because if there, there are two reasons in conclusion one reason is just the under investment in the low end trips and second reason is the, because the COVID, um, a lot of um, the money, because inf inflation is coming, inflation is coming, but people still don't see that obvious. But people got richer because of stock market, because of printing money coming to the stock market. Then people got richer, drive the demand, and supplies remain the same, and this gap causes the global item shortage. So that's my two assumptions i couldn't tell you which one is more dominant but i feel both of them uh, play a certain part of it all right so that's all for today's analysis of global chip shortage if you would like to receive more analysis videos like this don't forget to subscribe your subscription is really my best encouragement to make more videos like this other than that i will see you next time <laughs>